guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing this ballroom dancing makeup look. I wanted to do something completely different on the eyes to what I believe I've ever done on my channel. So I really hope you guys like it. It's a bit of a different style. I don't know if it's the Christmas in me that's brought out these colors, but I had all the intentions of talking to camera um, and just doing a voiceover for the, like the boring bits at the beginning with the foundation, but I got way too carried away. And by the end of it, I'm like, Anyway, let's get straight into it and please enjoy the video. This look is all about the eyes, so I'm skipping all of this boring stuff, which is pretty much the same as my other ballroom dancing videos anyway. Um, so to start off, I am prepping and priming my eyelids. So this is going to make sure that our eyeshadow does not budge. It also cancels out the veins on your eyes. And the way that I blend it in, I kind of am using my brush to sculpt out my brows to, to make them nice and sharp underneath. And to set my base, I'm using the AC Ontua Banana Shade. And to contour the socket of my eye, I'm choosing this grayish, cool toned, purpley kind of color. I love this. It's going to go perfect with the look that I envision. And I'm just using this to contour the socket of my eye. This palette that I'm using is an old Napoleon Perda set palette. And now I'm taking a black gel eyeliner and I'm going to smudge this all across my lash line. This is going to create a really nice intense base. So when we put a black on top of it, it's going to be even more bold, more intense, and it's definitely not going to be budging and moving anywhere. For an everyday going out look, I wouldn't take it as high as what I am today, but this is an intense ballroom look. So I'm smudging this all the way up to the socket of my eye. And now I'm taking this amazing glittery black shade and I'm packing this on with a synthetic brush. These synthetic brushes are nice and dense and I feel like you get the most color payoff with these. And this is getting packed all the way up to the socket as well. And to blend that crease out, I'm taking a very tiny, precise blending brush, almost like in a pencil shape. This is perfect for detailed work when you don't want to smudge and make it too messy or take it too high. To help fuse out the crease, I'm taking this cool tone from the AC onto a palette and just working that through the crease and then taking my big fluffy blending brush and softening it out. And now it's time to tidy up some of the mess that I've made. I'm just using a L'Oreal Makeup Removing Wipe and popping my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on. This one's in the shade 20 and I'm buffing it out with my Morphe E8. And once that's all blended out, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Translucent Brightening Powder. This really does help eliminate the dark circles under the eyes, which is why I love this product so much. Now I'm going to use this amazing glitter. It has a bit of a greeny, reddish, silvery color payoff. It's like mixed metals. It's so amazing. So I just spritzed my brush with the MAC Fix Plus because I find that that intensifies it and it helps it grip a little bit better to the base. This look is so Christmassy. I freaking love it. I would love to wear this look on Christmas Day, but I'd probably look like a crazy person. Now I'm taking this shade here. I wouldn't know how to describe it. It's like an almost black kind of shade. And um, I think this is my MAC 239 and I'm just smoking this under my lower lash line. And now I'm pressing the same loose glitter into the lower lash line and just taking my same brush that I use my translucent powder and sweeping away any fallout. I find the translucent powder helps pick off any bits of dust that shouldn't be there. Now I'm using my concealer brush just to tidy up where I went a little ham with the glitter. And to give this eye a little bit more of an editorial kind of look, I'm taking um, that almost black shade that I just spoke about that I put under my eyes and I'm working it into the inner corner here and then I'm flicking it up into the beginning of the brow. I love this technique. It just gives like a really sexy nighttime kind of look. It's time to pop some eyeliner on. Of course, I do love to use my black gel eyeliner. I really like the Napoleon one. So I'm popping it on my inner waterline. I'm not doing any on top of the eye. I'm just tight lining so you can't see any white bits and popping some mascara and a double set of lashes on. Whoop! I haven't put my lashes on yet. I'm one step ahead of myself. I'm taking this purpley white shade to highlight my brow bone and some mosaic gold eye dust to highlight the inner tear ducts. And now I'm popping my lashes on. 
And you know I like them to be nice and lifted so you can see the full length of the lash. Now I'm just going in with some black eyeshadow and covering the lash band so you can't see any glue or any glitter. And of course I'm just finishing off this look with some highlight on the tops of my cheekbones, bridge of the nose and the chin. All products on my face will be listed in the description box below. And that of course wraps up this week's video. Hope you loved it and I will see you next Friday night. Bye bye!